was still number three on the Donut Song charts. Got to be double trouble. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Double trouble. 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 Boom, boom. They coming for you. Boom, boom. That's what they gon' do. Boom, boom. They don't need a crew. Boom, boom. Cause they coming with two. Boom, boom, boom. Double trouble. Boom, boom, boom. Double trouble. Hey. Doma Sports Talk. Worldwide. With some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Boom, 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 double trouble. Well, double trouble has spoken. For those who don't know, that's the Charlo brothers, baby. Two twin brothers from uh, Texas, I think it is, right? Both of them champions. Both of them champions. The 154-pound division, junior middleweight division. Jamal and Jamel Charlo. Jamal goes up to the middleweight division. And... He's not getting a fight. He worked his way up in the middleweight division. After being the champion for the junior middleweight division, he's the mandatory. He's been the mandatory for Golovkin for about a year, almost a year and a half. After Golovkin lost to Canelo, he's now his mandatory. Canelo's mandatory. He's the mandatory and the interim champion. Everything you can be without being the champion. Right? So, uh, your boy Canelo beats um, Johnny Golovkin. And the WBC says, okay, well, you don't have to fight Charlo. We'll give you one voluntary because you beat the Golovkin. So they tell Golovkin, hey, if you want that trilogy right with your boy Canelo again, we can't do that without you fighting Charlo because he's been waiting. It's only fair to people who think can think fair, who can leave this one emotion out of the way for a minute and just think objectively. The man can't wait forever and he's done his job. He is in position. <clears throat> Your boy, Gennady Golovkin, the best in midway for 25 years, right? All of that. The guy who wouldn't fight anybody on May the 5th. This guy, he does want, doesn't want to fight him. Doesn't want to. Didn't want to the whole time. They were at people asking him to fight Charlo before because he was his mandatory. You had Abel Sanchez, his trainer, say, well, what has he done? Right? And I was thinking, well, and everybody was thinking, ask that for all of your opponents other than Canelo. What, what have they done? And the one you lost to, really, Daniel Jacobs, right? So you go, but but so you want to go to fight the regular champion Murata in Japan without asking that question because regular regular champion doesn't mean anything. That's not even a belt, actually. But he gets outclassed by Rob Brandt, and you're thinking about fighting Rob Brandt. Anybody except Charlo, right? Canelo is not in a rush. Charlo was down there and his brother at 154 pound division. Canelo fought everybody, but he wasn't trying to fight these guys. Twin brothers, guys. Twin brothers. And they're from Texas. Think about Canelo, who like, a lot of people love to watch him in Texas, right? Mexican community. You fight two of uh, any one of the brothers in a stadium in Mexico, uh, uh, in, in San Antonio or Dallas, Texas or wherever, right? Didn't want to do that. Now they're in your division and your mandatory. Now, what did Canelo and Gennady Golovkin have in common right now? That mass exodus that I've been telling you guys about. Whoa, that mad exodus, the caravan going up to 168 pound division looking for people who are not formidable. Right? Uh, Canelo trying to fight uh, Fielding. Now, at least uh, your boy uh, Janai Glufkin is trying to th think that he's going to fight Callum Smith. Right? I think he thinks Callum Smith is easier than Charlo. So, obviously, Charlo's getting a whiff of this, and I'm glad they're saying something. Don't have to be people on YouTube or, or some other people. Because we know what boxing is. It's BTBG. One dude almost got it close. He said, blame the black guy. No, guys, I'm going to tell you right now. It's beat the black guy. That's what BTBG is in America. This has been American boxing. Let's not talk around it no more. Do you see any other people talking around stuff around here in America? No. BTBG beat the black guy. Right? So they don't have to fight him. They're both leaving the division. And the Charlo brothers are saying right now, GGG and Canelo are the biggest cowards. And I'm glad they're saying it. Now, people are going to come in and start asking all kinds of, talking all kinds of stuff, but why won't they fight these guys? You know, in the stack that other people are more lucrative. Twin brothers. And the only reason they're not extremely famous, famous is because of they're in America. Imagine these guys in England or any country. Anyone. They would be huge. Twin brothers, both champions. We're the only ones. And I've said it many times. And they have a fighting style that people love, all right? 
You know, it's not like how they've been doing through history when a black guy can take a punch, then they have a different cranium. Through history, a different cranium. When a black guy moves, then he's a runner. You rarely hear the, rarely, rarely hear him called a white guy who's a good mover, a runner. He's a great boxer, like Lomachenko. Only time I heard him call a white guy a runner was Billy Joe Saunders when he beat the hell out of that David Lemieux, and Canelo Alvarez called him a runner. Other than that, you don't hear that. But brother, he's a runner, right? And so these are the things you're going, going, going through in boxing, right? We saw by HBO. I've told you several, several times how they were, you know, ignoring all the great boxers that they have. Now this is what happens in the long run because justice takes time. Now somebody just address the Charlos, force. Canelo and Gennady Golovkin to fight them. Gennady Golovkin should not be relevant anymore. These guys are number three and number four in the pound for pound list still. That's why I ignore the pound for pound list, especially from Ring Magazine, because you know what time it is over there. That's the racist email place. So they can't be the boxing Bible in my book ever again until they address the racist emails. For those who don't know what that is, that means the nigger word was passed from them to Golden Boy Rec uh Golden Boy by the Golden Boy Records, Golden Boy Promotions, right? And they never had to address them, calling Al Heyman a nigger, right? So until you address that, then I would understand if that's your thought process, right? And you guys talk like that amongst each other, then that would under explain to me why your pound for pound list looks a certain way, wouldn't it? That's just common sense. You can't ignore that unless you would like to ignore that. And you would like other people to ignore that. But that's not what we do here. You understand? So Ring Magazine is done in terms of them. So as far as I'm concerned. So I don't I just ignore whatever they're talking about. So these are things that are going on. The Charlotte brothers are right here. They, you know, they have to be forced by their fans, but their fans of Canelo and the fans of Gennady Golovkin will not want them to fight these guys. Just like Gennady Golovkin did not have to fight Jacobs again. It was like his fans were like, Woo, we got out of that one. We don't want a rematch with that. That's what happened. But this guy is your mandatory. You have to fight. You've been mandated to fight him and you still won't. But still crying about a trilogy with Canelo. Canelo, the WBC president, doesn't want him to get mad at him again. So he gives him an opportunity to be a voluntary, right, in between. But listen, just look, just we just we just to give you an example of why it's a, a sanctioned body's not doing that, we just had a guy in the junior welterweight division, Morris Hooker, just beat Salcedo, right? Well, he went somewhere away to beat Terry Flanagan. To get his title. Right after getting that title, he was mandated to fight Salcedo. Right? And he went to Salcedo's house and beat him. Now, Canelo could have done that as well. He beat Golovkin, but this mandatory was waiting for a long time, significantly longer than a Salcedo. Significantly, probably three times as long as Salcedo's been waiting. And we ignore him again and tell Charlo, hey, you gotta fight Golovkin, this uh, you know, this formidable hard opponent. Do you guys hear Jamal Charlo complaining? No, he wants either one of them. Well, it didn't matter. Okay, I can't get Canelo. Okay, well, let me beat up uh, Gennady Golovkin. That's a hero. Why are we ignoring it? Baby, BTBG. That's why. Boom, 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 double trouble. Boom, 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 double trouble. Boom, boom. They coming for you. Boom, boom. That's what they going to do. Boom, boom. They don't need a crew. Boom, but they coming with two. Dome Sports Talk, worldwide, and I am out of here.